This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi there, everyone. Lenise Lagan with your Fox 10 News Now update. In Mobile, a man charged with first degree assault after telling police Jesus told him to stab someone with a pitchfork. That happened on Bellwood Drive West near Dog River in South Mobile County. Investigators say Wesley Bowden was arrested after stabbing another man in the back with a pitchfork. The unidentified victim suffering life threatening injuries and had to be flown to the hospital. Well, caught in the act and arrest, Mobile police say these accused thieves were busted more than 300 miles away, allegedly making off with more than $5,500 worth of makeup and perfume. They were caught in Cobb County, Georgia. No word on their names, but we'll keep you posted as we get more information. Wipes may be a great way to contain the spread of COVID-19, but they're not so great for pipes. Daphne Utility is asking you to stop flushing disinfectant wipes and those even advertised to be flushable down your toilets. They say they've been experiencing more and more clogs and even installed baskets at one of its lift stations near Target just to help keep those things out of the sewer system. Uh, you can look at this picture here for an example of what was collected, and that was just over a three day period. They don't break down in our system. They may flush down your toilet, but they are not breaking apart. They stay intact, making clogs. So it's very costly repairs, man hours, and it can eventually harm your home as well. Wow, so they encourage you to, you know, stay vigilant in the fight against COVID-19. Just make sure you're throwing the wipes in the trash. The crews also say the only thing safe to flush, toilet paper. A portion of a major street closing in Daphne, Whispering Pines from Brookings Drive to County Road 13 is closed. Uh, crews are working to dig up the gravel underneath the road to repave it. The section of that road there is next to Daphne Middle School. It is set to reopen before school starts, by the way, August 7th. All right, the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office expanding its K-9 unit. They now have six K-9 handlers. Three of them are new to the unit, including Deputy Stephanie Lewis, the first female K-9 handler with the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office. All right, here's what we're tracking across the region as we take a look at the tropical situation. Tropics are heating up. We are looking at an active tropical storm and also an area of disturbed weather in the Gulf of Mexico. I want to start out first here in the Gulf of Mexico, a broad low here off the Yucatan. It's about due south of our area now and it is poorly organized. Should get better organized. The upper level winds want to drive this thing towards Texas here as we're looking at the 700 millibar wind flow pattern and so the the models are showing that track towards the west northwest and it slows down a little with its forward speed near the Texas coast which means a lot of rainfall from Corpus Christi all the way up to Houston and for the situation further out to sea looking at Gonzalo here and this system here is moving on off towards the west northwest and the feature should be potentially a crew hurricane by tomorrow as it is rapidly intensifying. We've got winds now at 50. It's moving west at 14 pressure 1000 millibars, a very compact system and we do expect it to scale back to tropical storm Gonzalo as it moves its way through the Caribbean Sea and the Central Caribbean by Monday as a tropical storm getting into a hostile environment there. Hopefully it'll get sheared apart down the road and won't cause too much trouble for the left or Antilles. Rain showers are increasing as the tropical system in the Gulf passes by and tomorrow will be left in that moist plume in the wake of that tropical feature. And we'll also see a higher risk of rip currents along area beaches. Rain chances ramp up big time by Friday and then scale back as we head into Saturday, Sunday and the first part of next week. Get ready for rainier days ahead in your forecast. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.